Despite football resuming, very few of us have been able to experience a live match this year. From your sofa you miss out on the overpriced food, grown men's tears and death threats at officials. But most of all, you miss those moments that make it all worth it. North London derbies famously serve up some of those moments. So last Sunday, me and my friends recreated the match day experience for Spurs vs Arsenal. <laughs> First up, I needed to create a physical set that could serve as our football stadium. Seating was outside and socially distanced, of course, with a fire pit to mimic the body heat of the 30 stone man who always takes his shirt off at some point. Now for crowd noise, us six would easily be a match for the Emirates, but unfortunately we were playing away. I've set up some speakers behind our seating. We don't want to miss out on the inventive chants the Arsenal fan base has produced over the years. <laughs> say my favourite chance are the ones with Arsenal in. But most important was the actual football and to mimic the experience of being in a stadium and watching the entire pitch, we wanted the screen as unnecessarily large as possible. We can fix that in the edit, right? <laughs> we can watch Graham in full HD. Pass. <laughs> right, I believe the teams are out. Thomas Party is the big one. Potentially is 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 out. He's in. He's in. It could not be the disaster class. You naughty, naughty. You teasing me. Fish and chips for fifteen pounds has jersey written all over it, so we didn't really have a problem supplying overpriced food. Steak pies, fish and chips, chicken goujons, and pizza pretty much covered all the the usual bases. Fish and chips, pie, or. Fish and chips or pie? <laughs> Alcohol isn't allowed in football stadiums in the UK, but as you know, my channel has gone to in 2020, so the carlings were suitably warmed for kickoff. Now, I think we can all agree there's only really been one highlight of 2020. On your left. So at some point, someone was going to have to wear a dinosaur costume. Uh, we'll come back to that in a bit. Instead of endorsing betting, bingo allows a lot more creativity. You know, I'm 24 now, so I might as well just embrace it now. Each of us picked six potential events to happen during the game. Marino to throw toys out of the ground. Crowd member not to wear a mask. Spurs first to die. Uh, or hang on. Uh, first to have 20 shots. Jacka to get a yellow, bar to interfere, and Jacka to pass back on his first thing. <laughs> not a fan of granite. And we competed for the best prize there is. Peer pressure. I think you should have to die your drink first, Steve. And it's live. Well, they're seeing it from a distance. The song goes on. Oh, my, oh, oh, my days. Oh, that's oh, remarkably. Oh, that's rude. This is not very friendly. Still got in my fancy team, so. You look like Hope when he's like, with all the, <laughs> the, <laughs> all the kids in school. I'd be careful, guys. Yeah, I just wouldn't move oh. too much. Oh, there you go. It's oh, open. Oh, oh, he's <laughs> laughing. It's like a throw. Oh, no, it's oh, a God. four on two. Oh, How have we done this? Again. For Kane. Oh. Oh. Classic oh. Jose Mourinho. Classic Harry Kane. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> was it a sort of assist? Yeah. <laughs> like, seriously, could someone else play? All right, Chris, half-time thoughts? Uh -oh. <laughs> Halftime entertainment is a staple for live football, especially penalties. At the Emirates, Gunnosaurus usually stands between some child and their lifelong dream. So it felt appropriate that whoever loses penalties becomes Gunnosaurus for the second half. Oh! Ball pop up. It's a belter. Good the European record holder this time, and he's fluffed his <laughs> second spot kick. Come on, Gunnosaurus. <laughs> this was absolutely worth it. We should have filled it with helium and just had Baz floating around. <laughs> it's like a sleeping bag, you think, Baz? Yeah. yeah. Except it's a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> so does Harry have to wear this the whole way through second half? Yeah, and then through to tomorrow and the day after that. Oh, okay. You're working from home yet? No. Oh, wow. Why are you not working from home? Are we actually having a serious conversation? <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, well done. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I like that off my bingo. <laughs> His eyes look sad. My bingo card is looking... 
like it's never going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> well, have you got that? But well, if I've been I given that VR Christmas and Mourinho to go mental. I'm so struggling to see an event in which all three of those happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, unless Martin Tyler goes down the touchline, starts a scrap and says, I'll knock you into next That's Christmas. Crap. <laughs> Something I'm alien. <laughs> the job is done. Good. Great. Alan. Post game thoughts? Um. Yeah, that sums it up pretty much. Probably the worst possible result for content, an easy Spurs win. I'd rather we got battered 5 0. This video was a bit of a mess. I wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out, but I've got a much better one for you next weekend. <laughs>